Jonathan Meyer. This is the 30th week of Ordinary Time, Mark chapter 10, verse 46 through 52. This is Jesus in Jericho and the blind Bartimaeus. I just want to give you this powerful image, and it's just, I think it's just so powerful to me. Every time I think about this passage, I always go to a homily that I heard at my home parish in Waukesha, Wisconsin, St. Williams. It was Father Dave Fillett, and he said, here's a blind man on the roadside begging. It says that he sprung up and left his cloak. And he always talks, he, the, Father Philip then went and talked about how this cloak, if it was hot, it would have been his shade. If it was cold, it was his warmth. He probably used the, the cloak actually and spread it on the ground. That's where people th- threw the fruit or the food or the money. That's what he caught it in. It said he sprung to his feet and left his cloak behind. Why? Because he believed with certitude that Jesus was going to heal him. He believed with certitude that his old life was behind him. So a question that I have for you today. Do you believe that your old life is behind you? Or do you believe that your old life claims you and owns you and names you? You're not your old life. You're not your old self. Christ thrusts you forward. Christ leads you forward. St. John Paul II, you are not the sum of your weaknesses and your sins and your failures. You are the sum of the Father's love for you. You are owned and named by Christ. Spring up, leave your past behind, and be the saint that God is calling you to be. Some other questions for you today. What's good news? What's the good news in this gospel passage? In what ways can you relate to this passage? What does it feel like when you see a beggar on the side of the road? Have you ever helped a beggar on the side of the road? Why did the crowd tell the blind man to be quiet? What if, what if, sorry, if the blind man threw his cloak and sprang up, what does that detail mean? Master, I want to see. Was he asking for more than just physical healing? How can we all use this phrase as a prayer? Master, I want to see. Where is their blindness in our world? Where is their blindness in our own lives? Let's reflect upon these passages from Mark chapter 10, verse 46, 52, and in doing so become saints. Thanks for joining us for Alive. We'll see you next week.